Here we go. I actually had time to post something on my Instagram for today. Let's just make sure it uploads. What's up, hi? What's up, Ratsu Crow? Nice to see you. I forgot, because it's an early stream, you'll be able to be here. That is epic, we missed you, Crow. What's up, PR? What's up, LG? What's up, Zesty? How are you guys doing? Okay, yeah, let's make sure that's good. I have my coffee this morning. Well, I guess technically it's just hit afternoon, but. Crow, thank you so much for being a sub for 17 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have coffee and lemon cake. Lemon cake is one of my favorite desserts. Pack, how are you doing? It's still morning for you. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, is Mount Mountain Time is an hour, I think, behind my time. Reg, how are you doing? I'm doing very good. I have to wake up. I spend like the majority of my mornings doing schoolwork, but I did my schoolwork and stuff like that this morning. Made some coffee, and then here we are to play some more Chain of Memories, so. My zesty thank you. <laughs> I'm still in my sleep shirt. <laughs> but it's all good. We'll have a little, a short little uh, Chain of Memories stream for today. Sess, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Toph, how are you doing? Good morning, Toph. Hi, thank you so much for the donation. You literally look the cutest ever. <laughs> My heart can't even take it. <laughs> I look like I just woke up. That's the funny thing. But thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> DX, your blood pressure was 88 over 50 and a pulse of 35. What? Like, is that on, uh, like, a home? You know how they have, like, little automatic blood pressure cuffs and the little automatic pulse oxes that'll show your heart rate and stuff? Or are you actually in the hospital? Because that's certainly no bueno. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Kuro! Hey what's there, up? Little mama and to see a suit might. What's up, Kuro? Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up, Marshall? What's up, Bruce? What's up, Milad? What's up, Kevin? What's up, Furious? What's up, Heartless? How are you guys doing? I drink my coffee. Okay, so also, I attempted to put everything, like, my cards kind of more, hopefully has, like, a better flow and stuff. We'll have to see. I'm not quite sure, but I'm maxed out on my CP, so hopefully I'm relatively stronger with my card choices that I have. Marshall, you're back from your pre-med exam? What? How do you feel like you did? That's exciting. Fando! <laughs> What's up, Fando? How are you doing? I feel like, once again, remember how you said that my voice was coming back yesterday? I feel like my voice is failing me again, you know? I feel like my voice is not kind of where it should be. I don't know. Okay, well. So we definitely need these red ones so we can buy more cards later. Toffee never play Chain of Memories. I have to say, the story is actually very good. Like, once you get the handle on the card uh, system, which I... I'm not really like fully there yet, but once you get it down, it's not too bad. This game has a lot more grinding, hey, I feel. B is online early, posted to IG and prepared her card. This stream will be epic. <laughs> Cause I was doing schoolwork all morning. Uh... It's because of the Gooby feet. It's getting to you. Asian, thank you so much for being a tier 2 sub for 13 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate you. I got beat up using zero. It's so hard for me to, uh... I feel like I'm not mentally awake yet. Holy. Betsy, thank you so much for the bits. Kuro, thank you so much for the bits. Uh oh. That's no good. I don't want to begin this. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely a weird system, but you kind of like get the hang of it. I have a soft place in my heart for Chain of Memories, I have to say, specifically in the SP version. But I did enjoy it more, I guess, the second time I played it on Re-Chain of Memories. DX, I look adorable with my bedroom shirt. <laughs> my sleepy Chain time shirt, memories. yes. Getting so much hate XD, it's high spav KH. Also B, I changed the stream yes. title to... Yes. Get ready, XD. What did you change it to? I can't see it. 
What'd you change it to? <laughs> what is it? One of these days I'm gonna regret giving you that power high. B, you look wonderful as always, but you had to go live when I'm heading to work. Come on, help your straight jacket boy out. <laughs> Insanity. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. I hope you have a good day at work, Insanity. Thank you for the bits as well. Yeah, we got that early stream. Ta, you gotta put your contacts in, you're blind. I'll let you borrow my glasses. You can use my big old massive frame glasses. Mm-mm. I doesn't manage my Instagram, but he does have the ability to change my title here on uh, Twitch. Carol, how are you doing? Dex, you haven't drank your coffee yet? Oh man, I'm quite a few cups down for coffee. <laughs> Nerd, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pack, do you have contacts? No, actually, funny story. So like in medicine, typically there's always like one thing that people just can't stand. Mine happens to be eyes. I hate any type of eye trauma, any type of eye surgery, anything related to the eyes. Uh, and contacts really freak me out, so no. That's <laughs> why so I, I wear my giant glasses that are all scratched up and so forth. I didn't, Toph, but I've heard good things about it. I think Retsu was even saying that it was like the best Pokemon. What if you guys were saying that? I don't have it, but I'm certainly not against it. Needles, yes, but that's like a medical thing towards me, you know? <laughs> I'm fine with giving anyone else a shot, starting an IV on anybody. I am fine with all that kind of stuff, but when it comes down to things that I do not like, like cases and or patients, I hate eyes. Like, specifically, I think like the worst ones are usually like welding accidents or something like that, where they get like a piece of metal that like ricochets off and hits them in the eye. I, that's one of the things I, I just do not like at all. You had your eye surgeries? What eye surgery did you have done? Back when I was in the OR, that was always my worst, worst service to be put on. I hated it. Especially like when you have to prep the eye, because you have them like completely draped. And they just have like just like their eye. And they're just looking at you, it's so freaky. Ugh, oh, hate it. Hater! My queen, apologies for not being able to hang out today. All Might is up against all for one and it ain't looking good, so they're calling in backup. Have a great stream. Hater, thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for the bits. Hater, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so sweet of you. We're gonna miss you, Hater. We'll miss you. We'll hold down the fort though. I'll get the basics of Chain of Memories a little better. That way when you come back, I'll actually have an idea of what I'm doing. <laughs> Itachi, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, True, thank you and so much for being a sub for four months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, 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 so much. True. Reg, the muscle in your eyes weren't strong enough so they had a long... Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. I know what you mean. Um, Marshall, tell me about my internship experience. What do you mean by my internship experience? Like my nursing clinicals back in the day? Back when I was in nursing school? You guys, you know what's crazy? I'm giving a... Well, okay, so... I've been the guest speaker at quite a few um, like nursing programs and colleges and stuff like that. And you know what's so crazy is that whenever I talk about when before I took the boards and stuff like that, I'm like, yeah, so back in the day, <laughs> there was this program and I was like, but you had to have like an actual CD, you know, like it was a CD. Like now it's just so crazy because everything is online and you have like all these resources and stuff like that. And I was like, man, back in the day, <laughs> it was just like a super old school, like CD or whatever, which I'm like, I guess you can't find it anymore. But I was like, my God, it hasn't really been that long. Like I'm so dated, I guess, from when I took my boards. I was like, that's so crazy to me. Like time just flies, I guess. Um, 
Idris, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you. How are you doing? So I know, right? Too? Like that's what's crazy too. Is like back in elementary, I remember using floppy disks and stuff. It's just, it's crazy. Oh my gosh, Toph, I've been a nurse for many, many years now. Many years. It's crazy. It's a. Uh, it's very interesting. Okay, so we need my lowest card that's green. But that's one of the things that it's, it's very interesting to me. Like even when I have my students and they ask me like, you know, how long have I been a nurse or whatever? It's like, God, I can't believe it's been that long. It's crazy, see? That's why I say I've paid my dues. <laughs> PR, thank you, thank you, thank you, okay, thank you. Okay, I want a level five hype train for our queen. Let's pick it PR, up, chat. Antisira love you, Antisira Tihi. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so much, PR. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so sweet of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, PR. That is so kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so sweet. Toph, you did bedside for four years and you went to management. I started off in surgery uh, and then I transitioned over My into My nephew literally doesn't know what ER. a cassette is and only knows what a CD is by concept. Blew my mind. <laughs> I know, but that's, I'm telling you, that was the first thing I feel like that just really put things into perspective to me because it's like yeah we have all these resources and stuff like that and you can like download this and it's kind of like if you're learning a language or something you know how like everything is very adaptive almost like a rosetta stone type style like it's all very interactive and it'll show you like a photo and then have the word but and it's like that's how most programs and stuff are now and then also too like seeing the nurses like what they do it's like they have a lot of virtual clinical type situations where you have like a virtual patient and you like ask them questions and stuff. And I was like, man, I didn't have that. <laughs> this is so crazy. I'm like, oh my God, what, what has happened? This is crazy. Yeah, I'm wrapped, I know what you're talking about. Like the big old, or like you'd have like a massive binder looking uh, CD holder and it'd have like all your like burn CDs and stuff or like your old PC games. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Just a massive one you just flip through. I know what you're talking about. Hi, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so, so much. That's so... <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, gosh, looks like somebody has some kind of get together. What's the occasion? Uh, Toph, the last guy in the ACLS sim always <laughs> See, that's the thing too. It's like when you're doing your like in services or whatever, it's just so funny. Everything is just so modernized now. It's so crazy. Hey, this must be that trial that White Rabbit was talking about. Why would you burn CDs? I remember being taught how to burn CDs in school back in the day. I think it was like a theater class or something like that. Not that I am a theater fan at all, uh, but I feel like she's the one who like taught me how to do that and it was like, actually part of the curriculum or something, which is crazy. Uh, it's funny how this stuff happens. Moray, what is up? How are you doing? Rainbow, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. How are you doing? And Rainbow, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. <laughs> Alice, do you understand the charges against you? Of course not, I've done nothing wrong. Feigning ignorance, dear. You're charged with aiding creatures called the Heartless who threaten my kingdom. <laughs> Fiddlesticks, where's the evidence? The evidence is, I forgot, that's the evidence. Because you, Alice, are the one who stole my memory. We can't rid the kingdom of the Heartless unless we get Her Majesty's memory back. This is a serious crime. So unfair. So what oh, if yeah. you're queen? All the time spent on LimeWire making CDs. Good I time. Know. Right? You have the risk of downloading a song or just getting like an awful virus on your computer. <laughs> this is for the days, right? 
One minute warning. Much. Am I going to have to do this by myself? Come on. We are. Thank you. Antisira love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, 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 so much. PR, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so, so sweet of you. I'll cheers my coffee to you, PR. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. Toph, when you had to take the face lace off your radio in your car. Or like the old like Walkmans. <laughs> my gosh. Dark, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. What's up, Doffy? How are you doing? Snake, what's up? Good morning to you, my friend. That's how you found your Yuhaka show? I'm telling you. <laughs> it was always a gamble with LimeWire. Such insolence. You're talking to the Queen of Hearts. And I think I might have let you go. Had, a, had you apologize straight away. What a brazen thief. Who's the brazen one? Sora? Zesty, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so much. Thank you, Zesty. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so sweet of you. The court has reached a verdict. Off with her head. I like how Alice is so chill. Hold it. This trial is a farce. You should have- you should investigate before you arrest innocent people. What is the meaning of this? How dare you suggest Alice didn't steal my memory? I suppose you know who the real culprit is, then. <laughs> Speak or it's off all of your heads. Now out with it. Who's the thief? <laughs> um... Asian, what's up? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm the thief. Oh, Sora. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> I like how Alice is just like, what? Oh my god. Really? <laughs> Goofy. Of course not, but what am I supposed to say? You'll remember those cassette tapes you would put in your car that had a wire that would <laughs> plug into a CD player of iPod so you could play that through your car speakers? Yeah, that was like an aux cable or something like that, right? I remember that. <laughs> in the whole iPod era, my god, that was crazy. Back! Welcome to the stream! We're so happy to have you here! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Baby, thank you so much for being a sub for 10 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, 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 so much. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cards, see them all. What's up, Wallace? How are you doing? MV, thank you so much for being a sub for 19 Hello, months. Queen thank Bee. you, thank you, How thank you. How are you doing? Looking absolutely beautiful today. Thank you. Yeah. That is so sweet of you. <laughs> Yeah. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you for the compliments, even though <laughs> I'm still in what I wore to sleep, but thank you. <laughs> I don't even, for the moment, think that, uh... You know what? I, I thought this was a potion. This restores my cards. It restores all my physical attack cards, the little potion bottle thing. I'm happy I read about that, because I, I've been using them as, like, HP potions. I've been designing tattoos for my parents, and now people has me to do designs for them, and now I'm designing myself a tattoo. That's crazy, Crow. I mean, well, you're so artistic. You're super, super artistic. That sounds very, very fun. I wonder if there's something that I need to do here. Or if I just have to keep hitting them? Hmm. Let's see. Rain, you can walk around in your PJs all the time. You still be hotter than the surface of the sun. That's so sweet. That's adorable. B, fresh out of bed and still too hot to hold seems good. 
PR, thank you so, so, See, what so we are much. saying is that your sleep pots and morning adorableness means we just want to cuddle and hug you infinitely. And PR, to Sira, thank he. you. You guys are so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Retsu, thank you. PR, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so sweet of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so, so much. Let's see. How do I get back over there? Not this one. Let's see, let's see. Marshall, thank you so much for stopping by. We've missed you, Marshall. Best of luck on all of your endeavors. Okay, let's try this again. PR, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I wonder how many waves there are of this fight. So I at least need to save my cards here for sure. Their cards are relatively weak as well. So I shouldn't really have to worry too much. About needing to use my flights. Mega Smack. Okay, so that's wave one. Oops. Why did I do that? Oh my god. It's ridiculous. That was so stupid. That's what I mean, though. It's gonna take a while to uh, get the hang of things. That was ridiculous. <laughs> that was a new move right there. It's all good though. Please, please. Dax, did you make any cocktails last night? I did. I tried to make like a Paupu fruit one, but it was not what I wanted it to be, so I have to still kind of like work on it. Because the blue one that I made is perfect. Oh god. I knew that was coming. Uh, yeah, so the Palpu one I did, it was just, it didn't come out the way that I wanted it to be. And for one, it was super, super sweet. So I'm still trying to perfect that How's the weather down there? Still freezing? It's, like, it varies, Pac. Snake, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Pac, thank you for the bits. I mean, I just, I'm generally cold constantly. However, today it seems to be like a little bit warmer than it has been, at least in my house, you know? Jax, can you make a purple color cocktail? I'm sure I can. It just takes a while for me to get it perfect or the way that I'm looking for it, you know? What's up gaming? How are you doing? I can do this. I'm just screwing around and making silly mistakes. That's all part of the fun. B, that's so hot, she's cold, yeah, lol. Yeah, freeze. <laughs> Snake, thank you so much for the bits. Thank Fire. you, thank you. Power. Thank you, thank you. What's up, King? How are you doing? Goofy. Let's do all Goofy. this together, why not? Sin, thank you! Of all the planets and all the solar systems and all the galaxies, you had to walk into mine. thank you! Thank you! Thank you, MPR! Thank you guys so much! Thank you, thank you! B, don't you dare say thank you again. Just keep playing. I can't Anticera help it. Hee -hee, Anticera smoochies. We are sin, you guys. Y'all are so kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna lose my health again. Thank you so 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 much. Goofy. That is so so kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't thank you guys enough. I also can't not say thank you. No! I can do this. Thank you so much, Sin and PR. Thank Laughing you. Laughing face. For 
another thousand bits. PR, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all are so kind. Maybe I should grind a little bit. This, <laughs> this is not going so well for old B here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, I believe. I am cheering you on, but you deserve this for the zero card thing MMHMMMM. Kuro, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Everyone is asking if you use beakers and test tubes to make your cocktails, but the real question is do you wear your lab coat and goggles while making them? <laughs> Zesty, thank you so much for the bit. I, I haven't ever done that before. However, um, I have a lot of uh, flowers and stuff like that, and I use beakers for my flower pots. So I feel like that's a little interesting. I think they're cute decor. It adds to the whole science theme of my house. My house is like a mad scientist. With all my, my oddities rooms and so forth. Brain, you're so sweet, thank you. I thought, I was gonna say, I thought it was like, oh, no. I'm doing great, Hellrider, how are you doing? We're getting there, we're getting there. I just need to get better at... Okay, we're making progress. It's always like a weak card. Oh my god. The anxiety. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank goodness. I'm scared. Uh, Hellrider, I have something I have to do later. So I figured I could just scream uh, earlier today. The way Hive can know the least guarded window to break into. I mean, so Hive can get new ideas for his house. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. Freeze. Fire. Oh my god. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. Um. Yeah, I have something I have to do later uh, today. However, next week I can only stream on Thursday, so I'm trying to make up as much stream as I can. Do you have a scientist theme, a gamer theme, and a weapons theme from fencing? What's your dominant style of decor in your place? Picturing massively eclectic. It's actually a mix of like vintage Victorian things that I collect and modern. It's a very weird mix. And then I also have like a lot of plants and greenery in my house. I kind of like it to look like Victorian, but also like overgrown, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I like it to have a lot of greenery and like ivy and stuff like that. So I know it's kind of an odd mix, but I collect a lot of like vintage furniture and stuff like that. And I will also mix in some modern things, but now I wonder, I'm gonna up my HP just a little bit. And books would be my guess. Yes. I do love my books. I like to collect a lot of old books as well. Like I have a, a pretty old like Grey's Anatomy book and stuff like that. I think they're very interesting to collect. And then I also collect a lot of uranium glass, which is the, the it's, it's almost like they also call it um, Vaseline glass because of the colors that it can be, but it can also be blue and also like a few variant other colors, but it'll glow under black light because of the uranium within the glass. So I think that stuff is pretty cool too. But I'm always up to collecting something. Looks like she escaped.
Perhaps you did, but you won't. Wallace, thank you so much for being a sub for two months. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Wallace. I think we've been trumped. Let's do it. I'm gonna have to make me some more coffee here in a second. Hmm. Okay, so we got a key of guidance at least, but we still don't have the, uh, the heartless card. So where the heck? Okay, wait, let me look at the map. So this is the room that we do not have yet. I have my Moogle room. That's gonna lead to another cutscene. I'm gonna Don't need to go forget, here. you have also collected all our hearts. <sighs> That's so sweet, PR. Thank you so much for the I bits. I think it Thank would be bad to use a black light in most of our houses. <laughs> not me though, and to see a real form. Girl, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, so it's gotta be this one, right? Or did I go in the wrong? Having a hard time figuring out. Wait, yes. We'll save anyways, just in case. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Huh. <laughs> Gaming. Um. There goes kimchi. So it has to be this one then. No. Oh, because I'm not in the right room. So I need to go into here. And then the next room. I should be able to. Yes, okay. Alright. We're making progress. I see, I see. Should actually yeah. probably fight these guys. I need the experience. Hive glows yeah. like a Christmas tree under a black net. Hi, thank you for the donation. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Ha! Colonel. Okay, I also need to get better at having that slight ready. That way, if I can't break it, I can just play the slight. I need to get better at that. Backdraft, yes, I have played. Uh, I've played all of them. The only one that I didn't beat was Dream Drop Distance on the 3DS back in the day. I believe that's the only one that I never beat. If I believe, if I remember correctly. Okay. Do you have dominant guess. colors in your decor, accent colors, or are you like monochromatic in your taste? Um, I didn't, like a lot of the, I don't really know how well to describe it, actually. I like, um, well, dark green is a big color because I just, I think that kind of goes with like vintage things very well and like the Victorianism of everything. So why do I do these things? I talk and I'm not like focused on the cards that I'm playing. Um, but I have a lot of like very muted light blues and light orange. But it's also kind of like a mix because I have so many random things. Power. Come on. What? Gotcha. Ah! <laughs> well, that's epic. Just figured that out. Very nice. I know that it told me about that earlier, but I had never actually done one. But A, very nice. Very nice. Feeble darkness. Okay. And I leveled up again. Let's see. Let's do another HP. I'm liking this system a lot more than I did before. Oh, here we go again. I'm not gonna be able to get up here. I love that way too much. I know, right? It was epic. Very epic. I like the way this one plays more than the first. Really? It's usually like a love or hate relationship with this yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. 
love or hate. You usually really yeah. enjoy this card system or you don't. I can't say I'm enjoying this more than I did in the past. But once again, too, I am older than I was then when I played these, you know? I'm capable of thinking about this stuff a little better. But it'd be far better to grind out some levels and stuff earlier on. I think that thing summons other one, or does it buff him? I don't know. Should probably get him out of here, though. You impressed this random an SP? I know, right? I loved my SP. It's like a little square. I liked it. What's up, Striker? How are you doing? How's your day been? Your morning, I should say? Oh, I guess technically it's just became afternoon. Flowers. Do that and get our cards back. Fire. What yeah, I had a blue SP. I had the blue one. Best one. Yes, mine was blue too. I agree. It was the best color. I agree, I agree. What's up, kid? How are you doing? How's your day been? Okay. That one's already open. We're making progress. We're making progress. We gotta, I like the whole card pack situation though. It's where you don't really like know what you're gonna get. Mick, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. How are you doing? Is this one? Let's see. Let's open this one up. Uh, two or higher. Five, four, four. This. Why not? You love buying cards. I know, right? That's one of the funnest like parts of this. Mick, tired of COVID. Yeah, that sucks. Not a fun time, Mick. Zanin, what's up? How are you doing? I ran into him accidentally. Oops. He's not the one I want. I want this little trumpet thing. See, I keep forgetting that, like, I have to <laughs> try to beat the cards. Okay. I just need to focus more on what I'm doing. There we go. We're getting there. The, sav the final savage fight? Oh, man. Make you're here from the Dr. Mike video. Thank you so much for coming to my stream. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Skylar, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anything fun, adventurous, or delicious for dinner tonight? <sighs> Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do for dinner yet. I've actually been contemplating that myself. Freeze. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that was good. Fire. Maybe Thai, I don't know. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Thai and Korean food. Courage. Big time. Final. Yeah, I'm having a surprisingly a lot of fun. Okay, let's do, or should we do a new slide? Sliding dash. Hi, if the world opened up right now, what would the three places you want to go to and why? 
Japan, I'd want to go back to Japan, Greece, and probably Iceland again. I love Iceland. I've never been to Greece though. That's the one that I haven't been to that I would like to go to. But I can't wait to go back to Japan. When are we gonna play D&D &D together? All your favors are down. <laughs> Wallace, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. It would be fun. It would be fun. It's just so hard coordinating things online with those like online D&D &D things. Not that that's bad to say, but I feel like anytime that I've done it, I've always had like a bad experience because usually people are focused on other things like on their screen and not like fully focused on D&D. &D. I much prefer D&D &D in person, but of course like that's not always yeah, possible. Fire. I haven't played D&D &D in quite a while. Courage. Broke it. God dang it. Oh. oh, you need to hit Greece. It's amazing. Santorini, have you hit Italy yet? Yeah, that's the main place that I want to go, is Santorini. Big time. Uh, and no, I've never been to Italy. I would love to go. I mean, that's love. fair. If we were to play, we'd all be focused on you instead of the game. <laughs> Dusty, thank you for the bit. Thank you, thank you. Fire! How do you feel about Florence? I've never been, personally. I would love to go. Specifically for the history and stuff like that. Um, that was my favorite thing of... I spent quite a bit of time in France when I was younger. To practice my French. And uh, one of my favorite things is just going to look at like the history of things. And how like these buildings that you would just walk by and not think anything of. Like have bullet holes in them. It's just... It's very interesting whenever you actually take the time. Or, I was also at this one building to where it was this beautiful, beautiful, like, vintage looking building. But if you actually look at the molding of it, it had, like, skulls and crossbones because that's was, uh, that was where they were putting bodies for the plague back in the day. It's just very interesting. Like, if you don't take the time to look at these details, they can easily be missed. Style, thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate you. <laughs> That one gave me this. This should give me mover points? No, I guess not. <laughs> Moscow, what's up? How are you doing? How's your day been? Great. Courage! Cobra, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, free. I really appreciate you. Final. Like this is not good. You'd love Vienna too. They have an incredible museum and art district. I believe it. Get in there. Slowly but surely. Yeah, freeze. These flowers, they're like the bane of my existence. Okay, so six and six cantered out, so I lost that one. You're having some chili. <laughs> I'm gonna come out and say it. The only good thing Vienna has ever done is sausages. You like those Vienna sausages, I am? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. So we need to be 15. Okay. If you have friends, a friend card. Mm 
Four, four. Roulette bonuses. It's pretty cool. Where mini heartless appear. Keep that one for later. And we're striking the first in the field. Stuns all heartless. Use that one, why not? And grind for more stuff later. Cobra! <laughs> we're so happy you're here. How are you doing? B. I would happily make the sacrifice the convenience of playing D&D on my laptop to play with you because I can always watch Prawn on my phone under the table <laughs> instead. It's an adjustment, but you're worth it. Moscow, thank you so much for the bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Things got a little crazy back there, but at least you're okay. I didn't mean to be ungrateful, but was that true? What you said? Are you the thief? What? Of course not. Why would I steal the queen's memory? Yep, Sora only said that because he wanted to save. To show off. Is that right? Well, you saved me all the same. Thank you. Petey, what's up? How are you doing? How's your day been? It's the Cheshire Cat. Feeling better after that mad dash, are we? Oh, but you're not out of the woods yet. Queen's a stickler for justice. She won't forget you till she remembers. She won't start hounding you until you get her memory back. Did she forget because she remembers? Does she remember that she forgot? Doesn't matter, I suppose. I don't know, I think we just ought to stay away from her. Sora, what about Alice? The queen catches her again. It's off with, well, you know. Then I guess we better do something about the queen. Alice looks so tiny. You should do something, but you don't have to do anything. Do I have to dress up somewhere? Uh, later? No. No, no, no. It's a lazy Sunday for me. My hair is falling out of my little clip. I like this cat's like little mustache. If you can't remember something, it's like it never happened. Likewise, if you if something never happens, you can't remember it. Try too hard to remember and your memory might lie to you. Hi, I'm still stream Sunday. Yeah, there's a stream Sunday and the next week Thursday. And that'll be it for February. Lie. <laughs> That's all I'll say, the rest is for you to figure out. Is it Sunday? No, I thought it was. Saturday. Okay, so we got the key to truth now. It's back in the beginning area. Mick, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I uh, added some of my cards to my deck uh, before stream, but somehow, like, you have, like, all these options for all these cards and where you want to put them, and somehow I put all my cards, like, at the very, very bottom. I'll explain what I mean here in a little bit, but it's driving me insane, too. Okay, buy some card packs, got any old cards, trade them for points. Let's see. Select my ones. We'll sell that. I don't want these. Increases the strength of fire-based abilities. Let's sell this one anyways. Why not? That's not what I wanted to do. Let's see. We'll eventually need low cards for epic slights. Yes, but for right now, I'm trying to kind of like fluff up my deck. Oh, I'll definitely have a time where I'll have to grind for cards and so forth, like you're saying, for slights and stuff, and to actually work on putting everything in a cohesive way. But right now, I mean, I'm more so trying to get stronger cards just to kind of like make my way through this just a little better. It's always sloppy before it gets neat. I wonder, I wanna do a combo pack. Let's do this one. Let's just see. Let's see what we get. Hmm. It's not too bad. Okay. Let's see. I... I'm going to get some more coffee real quick. I will be right back. Yeah, get some more coffee while we can, and then we'll go see what's behind that door. 
Okay, I'll be right back. Oops, I missed my little thingy. My coffee is so warm. Zephyra, thank you so much for the follow. Anonymous, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you, thank Chat. you. If everyone here brings a friend to the next stream and they all bring a friend, then that will be like 8,000 people in the stream supporting this amazing community. <laughs> Let's get to work. Hi, thank you so much for the donation. Okay, let's see. I'm having so much fun playing this. It's ridiculous. Oh wait, that's not on my screen. Zombie, thank you so much for being a sub for eight months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you doing? So we have the heartless card. Wait, can I get this? Yeah, yes. And did I did I get this one? Yeah. Okay, so this is that like little treasure room card. Hmm. Let me look at the map. My gosh, I'm getting cold. Okay, so we need to go back there. We can do that. Fight our way back over there. Get some experience. Oh, nice. yeah. Okay, let's see. Yuki, it's your, it's your fifth time playing Chain of Memories? That's awesome. Don't get sick? Yeah, I don't want to get sick. Oops. Power. Guilty. Loyal. My goofy is epic. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. 
moments reprieve. So I had two saves, I think. <laughs> Ultraviolet, how are you doing? Oh, I'm confuzzled with the flower. Come back. Come back. That was awesome, Goofy. Very nice. Yeah, I should have gone for these flowers first. Well, <laughs> I'll waste my zero. Let's see. Freeze. Does Belize really have a close option with beaches? I don't know. I've never been to one, so not one that I have come across. Um, I've only been in Belize proper, I want to say two times. And the only place that I really went there was I went to one of their um, main museums and like their art showcases or something like that. And. Um, I believe that was it. Besides that, I've always been on this tiny little island that my grandmother used to live on. Um, yeah, it's like away from the mainland, but other than that, I don't really know. trying their cards against something they know is not gonna win. <laughs> it's okay, it's all part of the fun. We don't have to be perfect. As long as we're having fun, that's all that matters. It's weird getting used to the card system too, to like recognize where the card is. Scooching myself back over here. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Let's just do this real quick. Three attack cards, the same value type. The same value. Okay, I see. I see, I see. Sketch, uh, not reading your title. I don't even know what the title of my own stream is, to be honest with you. I've changed it, and I do not know what it is ever since then. <laughs> my gosh. I have no idea what, what my stream title is. <laughs> okay, so here's the room with the heartless door. Let's see. Hmm. Trauma. COVID nurse. Ah, I see. <laughs> Interesting. You're certainly gonna make me screw up on my cards trying to <laughs> talk about medical things and play this at the same time. What's happening with the ch sudden change of scenery? Let's go look around. I like Donald. Oh dear. The queen. Thought you seen the last of me, did you? Games up scoundrels for stealing my memory. I sentence you. I sentence you to. I sentence. <laughs> What's going on? Where am I? What's up, Lewis? How are you doing? What in the world am I doing? <laughs> Confounded, I can't remember. What's wrong with her? Maybe somebody wiped her memory again? Sora, watch out, something's coming. PR, when I narrate? <laughs> I'm so bad at narrating things though. Sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. I can say it fine in my mind, but when I try to say it, it's like it doesn't come out as fluid as I would intend it to, to be. 
gosh, here we go. Hey, that worked out pretty good. Okay, we can do our new, uh, our new slight watch. Watch this, it's gonna be epic. <laughs> that didn't really work. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was funny. Heal. Power. <laughs> you should narrate in Spanish, just to add a bit of a challenge to it. Wow. <laughs> That would certainly get me killed. Pack, most certainly. That thing. I should be able to grab onto the ledge. I thought this was in Spanish. Kuro, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Freeze. There we go. Fire. Death. We're not doing too bad. If I could just get up on this table. Why did I do that? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Made no sense. <laughs> Just cracking me up. Shadow, what's up? How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. Get him, Donald. Courage. to use that immediately. Why did I do that? Final. I'm going through my cards so quickly. Coffee. Epic. 
You there, all of you. What's the meaning of this? Where did this creature come from? How would we know? So you refuse to answer, you're hiding something. They're plotting against me, seize them immediately. Please, your majesty, wait. It was you who commanded us to destroy those creatures. Your majesty and her prudence didn't completely trust us at first. And so, your majesty's command, we fought them to prove ourselves. Isn't that right, Sora? We did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> your majesty. I told you to do that. But your majesty, don't you remember? <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I never forget anything. Of course I gave the command. You did splendidly. <laughs> I love that. I knew she'd be just too proud to refute it. Well, that was close. Way to improvise. I would never have thought of that. But the Cheshire Cat said as much. Try too hard to remember and your memory might lie to you. The queen would never admit she forgot, so instead she remembered something. That didn't happen. She ended up fooling herself. What is it, Sora? Nothing. Well, I guess you'll be safe now. And the queen won't give us any more trouble. After all, we got rid of the Heartless just like she commanded. Don't tell me you've been fooled too. Did we beat Wonderland? Do you remember giving me the command to be your snuggle buddy? Curl, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Wait, so I guess I have one more, that one more, no, that was a treasure door. So I don't have to open that one. Huh. Hey. Hey, level seven Lady Luck, that's super nice. See, your narration gets better every time Antisira Teehee. PR, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Liquor, what's up? How are you doing? How's your day been? So we have our safe spot here. What level am I? Nine? Eleven. Wow. Very nice. Just woke up. Epic. Very nice. Epic, epic. Like I'm about to sneeze. Okay, so I can still go through here. Let's see where that takes me. Oh, we're back. Okay, so we did beat it. I'm about to sneeze. I can feel it. Hmm. Huh? What's the matter? It's that creepy castle that I was talking about <laughs> earlier. I know that I didn't so imagine bad. it. Cause that was the <laughs> castle where Sora had to use the keyblade to break Kyrie's heart. Watermelon, now you shouldn't have to sneeze. Hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> then he just what a snapshot. Is that like a so saying you say watermelon for people who have to see? Never forget that. Oh. The real. Thank you so much for the follow. Up. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank Wait, you. That happened in a castle. Mm -hmm. uh, you forgot what? Then what's oh, Dolan. What's up, Bear? How are you doing? Every word. Oh, yeah. I finished the first volume right before I forgot. That's a good idea to read now his journal. If I can just find it. Everything has oh. to be missing. <laughs> There's no go. way. Petey, that's so sweet of you. I love all of you guys. Let's have a look. Oh, how could it be? What's the matter? All my entries, they're gone. Yeah, how to Every be. Every page is blank. <laughs> what do we do? Oh, what a crisis. How could this have happened? I'm so careful with the journals. <laughs> All that hard work is gone. <laughs> That'd be like me if so I lost my funny. notes. What's going on? The real welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. So what's the next world we're gonna do? Once we get out of the castle, let's help Jiminy rewrite the journal. I don't think Jiminy would erase his own journal. Let's see, let's see. Play just a little more of this. <gasps> All the feels, the memories, the nostalgia. Shadow, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Something screwy. Could a pen just go just vanish? What if it's more things? Mm -hmm. huh? Goofy was telling us about another castle we've been to, but none of us really remembers it. Talk about an existential crisis. Is it just me, or does Bee's be voice soothe your souls that we as don't well? Remember because we're losing our memories? Well, that's so memories. sweet of you. Thank you. Hold thank on. you, thank you. And thank remember you for the Remember what that mystery so fellow said? In this place, to find is to lose. And to lose, and to lose, is, lose to find. is to find. It must have been our memories he was talking about losing. So if we keep going, we'll lose more. Gotta lose to gain. Guess it really is Castle Shadow, Island. yes. I have played this before. I played Chain of Memories on the SP, and then I played Rechain of Memories on the PS2 when they launched that back in the day. Riku and Kairi, too. Do you want to go back? Don't worry, fellers. We what might forget choice. about where we've been or what things we've seen. But we won't forget who our friends are. I don't know. Come on, <laughs> Sora. When you turned into a heartless, did you forget about me and Donald? Of course I didn't. There That's you so go. Cool. No matter what happens, you won't forget your friends. Oh. I like that childish optimism. Like, just no fear. Like, nah, that's not possible. <laughs> You're Goofy. right. Thank you, Goofy. So, thank you so much. Smiley face. Hi, B and to Sierra Love. Thank you so much for being a sub for 13 months, Soul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Optimism is always better than pessimism. When that is I so true. Heartless, who was the one who took forever to notice and kept clobbering me? Always optimism. Even in chaos. Never freak out, never lose your cool. Always be optimistic. Always smile. Donald. I love they're just like... <laughs> So how much of so who optimistic. we are do you think is defined by our memories? I, hmm. Court, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. Pac, thank you so much for the bits. I mean, I think the memories, or I guess your experiences of when they happened, essentially mold you to who you are. However, I mean, there's still like a major fallacy depending on how you remember things not properly being the way that things actually were. Uh, armed, thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate you. It's kind of like whenever you look back in the past, you know, they say that you look at it with like rose colored glasses. Like there's many situations you'll either have, like it was either worse than the actual situation or it was far better than the actual situation. We rarely uh, can remember the memory in its entirety. And a lot of times too, we will supplement gaps in our memory with things that never happened, but to us, we believe them to be true because our mind has replicated them to actually like fill the spectrum, which is very interesting. I mean, the mind is very fascinating. There's no way we could ever forget our friends. If you're still remembering the silly stuff, it'll be okay. Okay, so what's the next world we're gonna go to? Maybe Olympia? That might be a little fun. Agrava, Olympus, Monstro, Halloween Town. Hmm. I'm looking forward to Halloween Town the most, but I don't want to go there just yet. Like it's interesting. In trauma, your mind also purposefully forgets. Mm -hmm. The mind is like that with any type of pain, though. If you notice, Pat, thank you so much for the bits. Um, 
they say that a lot with like women who give birth to children like it's such a painful experience but if you think back on it you can't fully remember how painful that situation was and that works the same with like mental trauma versus physical trauma right because they say like if women remembered how painful childbirth was they wouldn't have more children but it's interesting because if you watch it uh like women give birth and so forth they'll give birth and then it's like almost like it's forgotten how terrible that situation was you know it's just interesting it's the way that our bodies have we erase these things so that we can continue to you know procreate even if i lost all my species. memories with my willpower i could never forget you bianca wallace thank you for the bits it's so sweet of you thank you thank you that's so sweet it's adorable for some sort of contest they're calling it the olympus coliseum survival cup contenders have to run an obstacle course battling each other along the way and listen to this the great hero hercules will also compete for the cup it says here he's never been beaten sounds like fun why don't we enter too i thought you'd say that whenever there's a contest you're always wearing to whatever you guys know what i meant <laughs> You're going to compete even if we don't, right? Pack, thank you for the bit. Child thank you, thank you. Dot lol. So if and when you have children, I take it no really big needle, aka epidural. Ugh. Your future hubby is going to have a fun time with you. <laughs> Epidurals, it's so interesting because like of my friends who have had kids or whatever, it's like they have the ignorance of not knowing like fully what goes into an epidural, but being on the medical side of it and like knowing exactly what happens, I feel like makes it a thousand times worse. Losing in my, my memory, I don't know how I could do because that. Because then I could meet you for the first time every time. Girl, that's so cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you, girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much. But yeah, like that's. <sighs> I don't know. That's so crazy to me. And like I understand why people want epidurals, but sometimes, like you know, they say ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is bliss on a lot of things. Hubby when she has kids, you forget she's Hispanic. What is that supposed to mean? What? <laughs> what? Hi. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Are you trying to say because I'm Hispanic, I'll have kids out of wedlock? <laughs> what? Oh, what a thing to say, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> Straight savage! Straight savage! <laughs> Stop it! Ridiculous. Hercules is a model of true strength and gallantry, the perfect hero. My god! <laughs> Just thinking about that little sunspot makes me boil. I'd like to drag him to the underworld. I'm so messed up, I'm so messed up. Which is why you hired me. Oh, Edgelord Cloud. That's right. <laughs> You're my man. Cloud, is it? Your job is to beat Hercules in the game. And once you've got him cornered, finish the job. Do that for me, in. You restore my lost memories, as we agreed. You have my word. <laughs> my god. Well, on that note from Hive, my mic arm broke greater than. Less than cloud cards are best. He has a freaking claw gauntlet. Retsu, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Well, given I'm one half Hispanic and looking at my extended family, he's not wrong, lol. I can say that does not hold true to my family. <laughs> but, <laughs> there's nothing I can even say without, like, talking smack about other people, too, so... I just have to let that be. One man, uh, yes, I did beat Kingdom Hearts back when it came out, but I intend to replay it again. <laughs> My god. <laughs> oh, I need 
to trim my bangs here just a little bit. Google room, beautiful. No comment. No comment. <laughs> I'm not saying anything more. We need these level. <laughs> my God. Chan, what's up? How are you doing? How's your day been? Rain, thank you. I was wondering how this world is gonna play out. Let's see. Oh, I forgot I had a slight queued up. Don't you think having kids is the only activity it's fun failing at lol? <laughs> well, when you put it that way, Kuro. <laughs> My gosh. Oh yeah, that was pretty epic. Pretty, pretty epic. B is gonna have some beautiful partially Asian babies. If I have anything to do with it, believing is achieving. <laughs> Wallace, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Remember three keys. Cards at 12 to 15 as the slide attack now and Goofy plus Donald as that cool ram attack. Yes, that was so freaking epic. You know what's funny is I have had it's odd in its own sense, but um, I've had many doctors approach me and their main thing was of like of who they were looking for, right? Like for like waifu material, is they're like. You'd give me a really uh, cute children. And I was like, what a thing to say to somebody. Like, not even dating or anything. Just be like, but we would have such good children. You would give me pretty babies. Okay? <laughs> That's not how this works. One day I'm going to offend someone and it's like B isn't offended. Why are you Lulu Lulu Pog 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 get wrecked? Sorry, That's boys. right, hi. What nights you'll grow up? Snowflakes. <laughs> Hi, thank you for the donation. That's right, we don't have snowflakes in this chat. But also, too, in the wise words of Rick Sanchez, it is your choice to take that personally, right? Oh, wait, this one breaks, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd say our kids would be epic gamers. What are those doctors thinking, Wall? <laughs> I know, it's just so funny. <laughs> All of chat is think. dreaming of having kids with B now. You get my characteristic green eyes. <clears throat> the anti Sarah jeans. Snake, thank you so much for the bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. I should have a one here somewhere. That'll work. What's up, Romeo? I'm good. I've just been doing schoolwork. And uh, drinking my coffee and playing some Chain of Memories, because why not? What better way to spend your Saturday morning? <laughs> what is up with this tail I feel like thing? These babies might have tails in this reality. What? So How did this become a thing in this chat? Tails. Understanding. When did this begin? I want to get into those Anitsira jeans. Anitsira yeah, knows sleeves. <laughs> VR. Fire. I can't imagine having a baby with a doctor. In socially awkward enough, but adding weird as doctor jeans into the mix. Lord, that kid's just begging to be bullied. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much for the donation. Thank you, thank you. Chan, I have been playing. Well, I played a little bit of Lost Ark. I do enjoy it. There are some things that I'm personally not like too big of a fan on. I play um, Final Fantasy Online quite a bit. 
that's more my speed. If there's one thing that I can't, like, kind of get over. First off, it's the gender locked classes, and then secondly, it's that camera angle. It's still a very beautiful game, and I still enjoy it, and I can understand the allure to it. It's my doing, B. It but. was about you having a flaw, and it would be weird like a vestigial oh. kid. <laughs> I see. <laughs> the kids sound great, but I would definitely be happy failing for a fair while. Girl, thank you for the bit. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's my flow. A tail. Didn't like Meg from Family Guy have a tail or something like that? Like she found it in a box or something in the attic? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I remember that. <laughs> Chan, you're hoping for a different. Yeah, and see, the sad thing is, is, they basically said the camera can never change because, like, the whole environment is not built to have a different type of camera style. Like, it's meant to be that top-down or isometric, I guess is what Hater had called it, uh, camera view. So it's the whole environment and everything is built to be that way, so it can't really be any way other than that. But I wish it could be different. So random Dr. Dudes talk to you about having kids without even taking you out for a coffee? Doesn't that make him working with them a bit awkward after? <laughs> No, I mean, because it happens very often. Shut up, Meg. Yes, yes. <laughs> Shut up, Meg. <laughs> well, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I mean, this stuff happens, like, quite a bit. Um, also, I think because I'm a travel nurse, they kind of just, like, try whatever I feel like they can try because they're like, well, she's only going to be here for a few months, so might as well just go big or go home, you know what I mean? I guess. I don't know. But it does happen so often that I usually just try to play it off or make it, try to make it like not as awkward as possible. But yeah, you can't blame anybody for shooting their shot, you know, as weird as that can be, like... <laughs> you give me pretty babies, okay? Do you take it as a compliment or just wear it? Um... Yeah, I mean, I can take it as a compliment. I also don't particularly care. I also wouldn't be mad at somebody for saying something like that. Like, once again, like, shoot your shot. Who cares? Yeah. I'm not going to get offended or something, you know? You do you. Somebody can say the craziest thing to me. Like, once again, like I said, it... I feel like that's, so like, the best quote the ever. Epic or memorable shot someone's yeah. taken with you? Hmm. Pat, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. PR, thank you B, for the bits. Being around you for just a few minutes and they can't resist. <laughs> PR, thank you, thank you. But like, I feel like that quote is so good. Like, from Rick Sanchez, which is from Rick and Morty. Like, it's your choice to take that personally. People are gonna try whatever they're gonna try. People are gonna say the craziest things. It's up to you to not be reactive to these, like, this situation, right? Like, don't be the catalyst to just cause some massive destruction. Who cares? Shoot your shot, whatever. Maybe you'll succeed, maybe you'll fail. But hey, nothing ventured, nothing gained, you know? What is uh, the most epic or memorable shot someone's taking with you? Hmm. I don't know, I mean, the most memorable one was that whole GameStop situation. Cause like, he failed so many times and the, the, like the final card that he could play is like, I want you to have my virginity. And I'm like, that is not how this works. <laughs> you can't just be like, you, you're gonna take my virginity. That's not how that works at all. That was probably the most memorable. Did he at least wrap it when it was offered? <laughs> Girl, <laughs> thank you for the fit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fire! Courage! <sighs> Still need more coffee, yeah. That was, that was quite the trip. So if I ask you to marry me as soon as meet, would that count? Yeah. Antisira Teehees. <laughs> PR. Like I said, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Who knows? One day, it just may work. 
The sunglasses was the best situation. <laughs> to watch somebody walk up with no sunglasses. And then to take them off <laughs> right before he came in. If I ever happen to meet you, I'm gonna like, make sure I, I have some aviators to put on as I walk up to you just to dramatically take them off. That's right. Yeah. It's just so funny because it's like a glass door, and so I saw like all this play out. I've been watching you drink. B, I get the feeling you've got a hard job. I wonder what Freaking it takes Marty. to please you. That's the job I want part time, full time. I want to be good at it, bad at it. I want to get promoted. Wallace! Epic quote. Thank you for the bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I love Rick and Morty. I love Rick and Morty. My god. <sighs> I see a lot of myself in uh, Rick Sanchez. <laughs> in a nicer way. Okay. King, I can imagine the slow-mo of him taking his sunglasses off, the wind blowing his hair in the background. Yeah, it was pretty epic. It was so epic, it was hard for me to resist. What can I say? I say, man, that guy is so cool. Rez, you're gonna give me extra points if I told you I'm a Rick. <laughs> uh, that's like I was saying yesterday. You know how there's so many alternate Ricks? And Rick is the Rickest Rick. I'm the BSB. I'm telling you. And B from Dimension C137, is that it? That's me. Okay, I need a green card. They move slowly. That'll work. Oh, but I don't have a heart yet. Huh. B, you're a shining bastion to showing people to stop being so weak and easily offended, haha. -ha. I feel like we are rewarding weakness as a means of getting attention too much now and we need to lovingly bully that shit <laughs> away. That's true, Hayu. Thank you so much for the donation. I mean, but that's all related to emotional maturity though as well, Hayu, because there are some things that people have, have gone through in their life that have like emotionally stunted them or learned like bad reactions to things. I feel if like- If I was a B, it would be epic cause I could tell you to go foo yourself and that would mean me lol. <laughs> Girl, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so you'll see like people who react, like people who are fine one second and then blow up, like that's also a sign of like emotional maturity. And when you can recognize these things, you can understand it a little differently because you'll become resentful when people are extremely reactive because they can't reach, like they don't hold, they're not incapable of holding themselves to the same standards that you are. But hopefully as people get older, they're able to recognize these things. And like, I mean, that's the whole thing to where it's like with my patients, you can cuss me out. I've been hit many times. People say the worst things they are just trying to like tear me down or say that I don't know what I'm talking about or you know, I just got my license and my degree just because I'm pretty or something like that and I didn't earn anything. But in reality, who cares? Like, it's up to you to have enough self-respect not to react to those types of situations. You could say the worst things to me, you could cuss me up one side and down the other, it doesn't matter. Because I have more self-respect within myself and I know my own worth. So you could say whatever you want to say. I'm probably just gonna laugh it off and go on with my day, but yeah, I mean, as a society as a whole, especially in nursing school, there were so many girls who were like always crying. And I'm like, this is life and death. Get your act together. Like this is not an office thing where you can just like reprint something out. You mess up, somebody dies, get your act together. And if somebody asks you why I did something, I have a rationale for exactly why I did what I did. So ask me. But that's the thing too, is people always assume they're right or if they're highly emotional that like I have this feeling so I just have to say it. Incorrect. That's so wrong. So the emotionally stunted chads are due to personal trauma? So you just need to understand them chads and give them a chance to get in your paninis. <laughs> They're victims, really. No, I do not tolerate victim mentality at all, Pac. At all. Like, and that's kind of like I said at one point, you know, like sometimes people have learned like acting like a child, like gets them attention and stuff because throughout their life that worked for them. 
eventually you're gonna come up against somebody who does not tolerate that thing, like that type of stuff. That's what I mean. Like, I don't make me pity you. Is that really what Why you won't want? Someone you hit know? you. I will straight up Dexter them. <laughs> this just made my blood boil. No one hurts our goddess. Wallace, thank you for the fit. I've been hit many, many, many times in trauma. Usually people who are high on PCP or something like that. But uh, yeah, I I hate this whole people cry and they whine because they get attention. But to me, it's like, if you want to act like a child, I'm going to treat you like a child. Understand that. And if you are ever trying to be in a romantic relationship with a woman, I'm telling you, women are not attracted to children. They are attracted to men. So you have to grow up. So some people don't learn that until far later in life. And they're like, I just can't seem to get somebody. Well, look at yourself. Truly. We all Does have things we need to fix. come from your cultural background to a degree? I mean, it's refreshing, just not the norm. I mean, I think culture certainly um, plays a part in it, but a lot of it is like, as you go through life, you're either capable of looking at your situation and saying like, hey, maybe I was dealt a bad hand, but that's not gonna stop me. I mean, you people have lost their ability to suffer in the world to begin with. It's like, everybody wants to be like, oh, you just got so lucky. No, you suffer for it. Like, as soon as somebody stubs their toe, it's like the end of the world. And so it's like, well, that's why you don't reach certain feats that other people are capable of. Either you need to grow up and wake up one day and realize that you're tired of being weak and try to strive for more or not. But I mean, it just drives me crazy that people like want to act like, oh, these things are just so easy and they're just handed to me. It's like, no, people have to work for it. So grow up, stop whining, stop pouting that you don't have what you want and work for what you want. But like this society as a whole, I'm telling you, this whole movement over like, you have to do you and to find your own inner happiness. And if somebody doesn't like that, then they don't, you know, like deserve you or whatever. Well, if you're a terrible person, then you're not gonna attract a decent person. You know what I mean? That's the whole thing with like hookup culture. There's There was a situation where this one girl that I know was upset because she liked this guy and he kept like liking all of these like basically half naked photos of these girls on Instagram and whatever. And she's like, well, I don't know if that's like really an issue or not. And I'm like, well, I mean, if you think about it, like your attention has a lot of value, right? So if a girl likes you, she's gonna fight for your attention, but it should be reciprocated. And if you are giving your attention off to other people and stuff like that, she's not gonna work for your attention. So just think about it. Like the morals that you want, you also need to exude as well. If you wanna have morals, well, I mean, if you want a woman with morals that you can like bring home to your mom and like not be embarrassed about and someone who's striving to be better and all these things, you need to exude that as well. You can't just like act like a fool and expect that you're going to get some S tier girl because you're not. You want to be S tier <laughs> or if you want S tier, you should work to be S tier, you know? And that can be a whole plethora of things. It doesn't have to mean looks, it doesn't have to mean success, it doesn't have to have a monetary value. I mean, work at yourself, you know? I'm just so, so tired of the pity parties. Allo come to be life lessons for the day. Work to become <laughs> S their people. <laughs> Snake, thank you so much for the bit. Thank you, you're thank you, thank you. You're giving Chad's a hard time. You're just jealous. You all don't have the genes and drive to look like a Chad X D Lord knows Hive is jealous. Hashtag Chad. <laughs> Hi, thank you for the donation. Thank you, thank you. You must be swift as the coursing river. Be a man. Right, be a man, With all the force of a great typhoon. Be a man. <laughs> With all the strength of a raging fire. Mysterious yes. as the dark side of the moon. Right, that's the kind of... That's right, Wallace. I'm serious. I have. Be I always love that song from Disney, too. Seriously. Be a man. And that goes for women, too. You guys understand the sentiment. You know? Grow up. Fight for it. <laughs> Zesty, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, but my biggest pet peeve is emotional volatility. That is the worst thing that you can ever be, ever. Like I said, I don't care if somebody, I don't care if somebody walks up to you, has doesn't know you, cusses you out, says these terrible things. Don't react. Be the adult. The worst thing you could ever be is emotionally volatile. So pretty much volatile. your number one trait is emotional maturity. Yes, and stability. And that depends on other people because I'm telling you, like if somebody came from like a very sheltered life where 
They had everything. It doesn't matter. I mean, you could get away with being more chaotic because they never had to deal with chaos. Now, if you come from somebody who does not come from a stable family, that may be something that they're looking for. And if you can't meet that, Speaking your relationship will not work out. So with what they did with Numeran. They completely ruined her entire journey and struggle by giving her magic. I am dear bestest woman power instead of the story of her struggling in a male dominated field. Hi, thank you for the donation. I have not seen the new Mulan, first and foremost. So I don't know. I can't really speak on that too much because I don't even really know what they did to it. But I, I do have a pet peeve whenever it comes down to, I guess, If you can't like take that. a stranger cussing it, you don't come to NYC Antisira LUL. PR! Thank you so much for the bit. Uh, that happened to me and my dad once. We were like in the subway or something, and my dad was just walking, and all of a sudden this guy turns around. He's like, "Don't have with me, dude. I'm from the Bronx." And we were like, "What? Are, is this guy even talking about what?" Um. But yeah, I haven't seen the new action Mulan. But one of my biggest pet peeves is that when they try to take women and they try to make them like physically strong characters. It drives me crazy. Never understood ultra feeling irrational neither. World owes no one a thing. Exactly. Least of all, walking on eggshells. Yes. A rude awakening comes to us all. Eventually. I agree. 100% king. I agree. I agree. I agree. So most men don't reach emotional maturity until they're 42. Does that explain the current world or is it generational? Ha, thank you for the bit. Thank you, thank you. PR is from of the Bronx. Of course, he's from the Bronx, Antisira LUL. PR, thank you for the bits. Wallace, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. I will be the yin to your yang. So publicly, I am asking you out when you are ready for the greatest relationship you ever have. Wallace, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Pac, I mean, Emo people are either capable of being receptive, like you're able to sit down and have a conversation with them and they're able to introspect and say, hey, you know what? There's kind of like some validity to that. Or I understand that I have these flaws and that this is kind of like what I'm working on, but some people are capable of being receptive and some are not, you know? But also on that topic of like the female characters and stuff, what drives me crazy is if I play a video game or if I'm watching a show, like first and foremost, I enjoy playing female characters because I relate to them better. But one thing that I can't stand is when they try to take like a petite woman and act like she's just like so epic and like she can like take on a man and stuff like that, and, like hand to hand combat. It's like this stuff is unrealistic. Women do not have to be physically strong to be epic characters. Like you can be smart. It's the same thing with why everybody was like, oh, you're following in your dad's footsteps in fire. Heck no. Like, I'm a hundred pounds, what the heck do I think that I can do, right? But that's not to mean that I can't be smart. And so that's the thing that I hate in, like, movies and video games. It's like they're trying to remove, like, the femininity of women. Like, you have your own charm. I cannot go up hand-to-hand -hand with a guy and expect to win. I'm not going to. But that doesn't mean that I can't be smart. So that's what I hate whenever they take these characters. It was, like, a lot in Cyberpunk. Like, the women just repulsed me it's like why are you talking so crass like why are you cussing like this like you're trying to be some hard woman or whatever it's like that looks ridiculous to me i hate it i hate when they do that I hate it now if there's some type of thing like, let's talk about like gears of war where they're like all weighted up and stuff like that like that's one thing i understand like there's a reason for them to be capable of doing these things but just like as a base level there's nothing wrong with being a normal woman nothing wrong with it she doesn't have to be able to fight off like 20 men. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Bleach, thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate you. Let's do this, I guess. But yeah, I hate it. Yeah, exactly, TDK. I mean, I haven't seen that, but I hate it towards the woman always has the answer. The woman always figures everything out. The woman's always the strongest one. The woman's always the best shot. It's like, that's not realistic. I mean, come on now. You know, everybody should have their pros and everybody should have their cons. It's just something that irritates me. Yeah. 
feel like we've been grinding for so long, but I'm enjoying it. Totally agreed. Today's woke method of reducing femininity reduces humanity's attributes. A femme character can show grace in different powers. Exactly. I 100% agree, King. I hate I agree. that people think being strong is just strength. There is yes. toughness, willpower, cunning, speed, and courage that are all factors. Yes, I agree. 100%. So the entire trend of women being players because guys can do it is the same kind of thing. Or dropping F-bombs. Uh, see, but either way, There's nothing male or female, I still feel like that's bad be behavior, you know? Wanting to retain their chastity and femininity. Women shouldn't be shamed from wanting to. Yeah, and like in the grand scheme of the world, you can do whatever you want. But I hate that narrative that that is like everything currently. Hi, thank you for the donation. Kuro, thank you so much for the bits. Ronda Rousey. Yeah, and see, that's the thing too. Like, there are women who can do these things. And if you can actually do the job, more power to you. More power to you. I know my strengths and my weaknesses, and I know that I am not physically strong. I do know, however, I am smart in medicine and in physics and so forth. And so that's my cup of tea, you know? But I, I mean, I, <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> But if you can do the job, do it. But that's one of the things that drives me crazy too, like specifically with first responders. Um, a lot of times they will pass people through and it's like, let's say push-ups. I may be able to do a lot of push-ups for my size, but that doesn't mean that I'm physically strong. I'm strong for my body weight and my body size. It does not mean that I can pull a grown man out of a burning building in full fire gear. We will all burn. There's just no way. Now, if you can do it, if you can lift the weights that is required to do this, I'm not talking about push-ups, I'm not talking about chin-ups, I'm not talking about sit-ups, I'm talking about the full weight capacity. If you can do it, more power to you. But we have had many deaths, specifically in Houston, where these women should not have died because they should not have been there in the first place because they were incapable of doing the job. Now, if you are capable, more power to you. But if you are not capable, Somebody lost their daughter, be using their a wife, shift rapier in a fight, all of that, taking us all out. just like, trying to appease her, to and she couldn't do it. That's not fair. It's like lying to this poor girl, you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. It's terrible. Well, she wasn't married, I mean, she was engaged, but I mean, imagine losing your fiancé because everybody is just, you know, patting you on the shoulder, saying like you're one of the, you know, I like think you made it, when they and make you're not. proper differences between men and women in games. It would make for more interesting games. Different ways to play the game. Um, Wallace, thank you so much for the bit. King, thank you for this. Yeah, but that's like a lot like if you think about like the old school Resident Evil, you know, like Jill had her lock picking and Jill had a different type of play style in a sense. You know what I mean? You guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But to me, what drives me crazy is there's so much worth to life and I would never put somebody's life in danger just because I didn't want to hurt their feelings. I would much rather say, I'm sorry, you don't make the cut and you go on and you live a full life and you have children and this, you know, you get to experience the world rather than letting you die because, you know, this is what you think you want to do, but I'm sorry, my dear, you just can't cut it. Danny, thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate you. Don't worry B, you can pull me out of a fire, I only weigh 106 for my weight, if not then just cut my legs off, I can live without them. You weigh 106 pounds, Sid? Are you serious? That's gonna absolutely blow my mind, if you weigh 106 pounds. That is like, going to blow my mind. Even 108, Sim? That's blowed. That, my mind is blown. Blown. That is very, 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 uh, 
low for a male. Bianca wanted to say I love your passion and conviction in speaking about topics. You are indeed a most unique individual and would want by side in the apocalypse. <laughs> Be proud of the person you have become. You continue to... DX, thank you, thank you, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You got that super metabolism? Yeah. See, that's the interesting thing too. It's the different types of like body types between... Well, it, it's present in males and females, but like endomorphs, ectomorphs, mesomorphs, and so forth, so forth. You know, different body types, but... Even still, Sin, even still, I'm assuming you're relatively tall and thin, that type of body type. Even still, that is... That's very curious. Okay, five. Oh, you know what? I need to save, actually. Yeah, we're getting- it's almost been two hours. I've been having so much fun, though. Let's do this real quick. Sin of my body can eat all day. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Sin, you're like almost my weight and I'm 5'2". It's crazy. LG isn't low weight dangerous depending on how tall someone is. Low weight is dangerous regardless of height. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how tall you are. But, uh, yeah, depending on that, um, being underweight has its own plethora of issues. Being overweight, of course, has its own plethora of issues. Um, it's usually more, it, it, it's usually worse on women because women will become, they'll be unable to have We've children been enjoying and so this forth. As well. B, any stream that can get me to ignore the NBA All-Star Weekend while there. <laughs> Is that what's going on? King, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, being underweight, you can begin to lose your hair. You'll start getting like the peach fuzz all over your body. Um, women will lose their periods and be unable to have children. It's just interesting. But then again, some people are naturally naturally slimmer than TBH others. I've like, been just locked in listening way. to you talk for the last however long. I find your opinions fascinating for the most part. Kuro, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. And see, that's what's interesting. And you guys are more than welcome to have a different opinion, you forgot opinion, one type you know? of morph, and that is what I am, a xenomorph. A xenomorph. <laughs> Wallace, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Uh, TDK, yes, BMI is a guideline, which of course, like, you know, like those super shredded, like crazy big bodybuilders and stuff like that, they'll be considered like obese based on like a BMI scale, but we look at other metrics to determine whether or not you're considered underweight for your size. But there are some people who are naturally just that way. It's just like there are some people who genetically speaking, they're like crazy outliers to where they're just like able to put on muscle and just be shredded constantly, which is crazy because like usually being at that level of like shreddedness is miserable to maintain, medically speaking. It's not easy, but you know, it's interesting. Can I? Okay, wait, no. So if I hit it once, it goes off. And then we can hit this one. Maybe? Man, I thought I did something. Five feet seven being at the range from 118 to 108, but no medical issues. Only thing I lack is vitamin D. But hey, man, I told my doc, yeah, I'm a real vampire man, lol. Don't worry, basically everyone is deficient on vitamin D. That's why I usually have to so take do you supplements. Think that the outliers Most create an them. unrealistic expectation, especially because of social media. Have you found in medicine an increase in body dysmorphia? Sin, thank you, thank you for the bits. Pac, thank you so much for the bits. Yes, I actually am very interested in this, specifically in like adolescent mentality, um, because we have a massive incidence of adolescents going through anorexia, bulimia, so forth, all these other issues. But a lot of it isn't just so much the outliers with these unrealistic expectations because we come across those people in our daily lives. The issue more so is on social media where, let's say for instance, like I, I talk about this e-girl aesthetic a lot. It looks very, very cute, like in person and it, well, not in person, I'm sorry, on the internet. 
and it photographs very, very well. But it is unrealistic to walk around that way, like in your modern day life, because it looks laughable, like in person. But these things, these girls will see that and they're like, I wish I always like look like this. You don't, you can't, because it photographs well, but it looks ridiculous in person. And so these women, a lot of these things are so far edited, specifically like bodies. You know, it's like they, they get these girls, like the whole Kardashian look that are like super large breasted, but very, very tiny waist and like a large butt, but it's all like airbrushed because like the cellulite on that would just be crazy. So, I mean, people have all these unrealistic views. So they hold themselves to these standards that are impossible to reach. You know, and then also too, like in photos, you're taking the best photo out of all these things in the perfect lighting and stuff like that. You know, like I would never think that like, if I'm looking at my photo that like, if you're talking to me one-on-one -on -one, that, you know, maybe I have a flaw, I have a spot on my face or something, you know, who cares? That's just part of life. But you know, it's, it's just all social media overall. These things are not realistic. That's the thing too. It's like if you want to see somebody, like it, it's better to see them fluid, like and moving in a video or something. And in your bed, G. Sucks to be them, lol. <laughs> Girl, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Um. Speaking of body dysmorphia, what about the other side of the spectrum with this body positivity hoo-ha? <laughs> Hi, thank you for the donation. I appreciate you. I mean, as long as you're living a healthy lifestyle and or you're content with how you are and you understand like the cost of your actions, I say go for it, right? Like there's always medical autonomy and I will always hold on to that, that as a standard. Is that one reason why, while you look gorgeous, you don't overdo your TikToks? You do them in scrubs and such? To set a realistic example? I mean, I just, Pat, thank you for the bit. I, I like looking how I, I guess I typically look. Like this is usually how I look, right? I have my leggings, my baggy shirts. I just, I go to class this way. It's just kind of how I am. I'm not always trying to be dressed to the nines, nor am I ever really ever just like dressed to the nines. And that's the thing too, to where like, I still want to look like myself at the end of the day. So where like, even if I'm not wearing makeup, which I don't really wear much makeup, um, it's like maybe I don't have my eyeliner on or something, but it's still me, you know? It's still recognizable to be me. But Haya, what you were saying with the body positivity thing, I mean, if you're happy with yourself, more power to you. It's the same thing like in medicine. I am here to educate you, but I'm not here to dictate your life. If you're gonna continue to drink and you're a severe alcoholic, I'm gonna do everything in my power to get you away from that because it's harmful to you. But at the end of the day too, when you still show up the next week, just, wasted i'm still gonna take care of you because i don't know your entire life story i don't know why you make the decisions that you make and so forth all i can do is try to have you live your best life but when it comes down to body positivity and so forth it depends on what's going on because sometimes people want to say oh well it's okay and i'm healthy and stuff like that it's like but you're not and you need to understand that if you want to live your life this way that is perfectly fine and more power to you and if this makes you happy i am all for it however you need to understand the risk of your actions that's just the truth of the matter you know you are increasing your risk of diabetes or you are increasing your risk of all these comorbidities so that when you do contract something like covid it's going to be far more severe of a case there's 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 what's the word there's a price for every choice that you make even not making a choice is still a choice. There's a cost for every action that you make. King, okay, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. I don't know why I didn't read. BMI right after COVID, I got close to what was supposed to be my target. I felt like I looked sickly too. Screw BMI, I hated looking like sarcopenia. <laughs> yeah, and see that's the thing too, different body types hold um, weight on differently. And then also too, you can get what's called like skinny fat where you lose a lot of adipose, like fat tissue. However, you don't have the muscular underneath it to kind of like, you lose weight very quickly, which is usually not healthy to begin with, but Suck you know, my king rod. it's all a spectrum. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much for the donation. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, but um, 
I do not go based on a BMI scale for many, many things, but there are a lot of other um, aspects and metrics that I do look at to determine your health and so forth. And that's one of nurses' biggest responsibilities is like educating you and so that you can understand what you're doing. But what drives me crazy too is that I'll see people like influencers or people on YouTube and stuff and they're trying to give like diet advice and so forth and I'm like, you have no idea what you're talking about. First of all, I'm not even saying that you have to have a degree, which I do have. However, like a lot of things is interesting because there's like this whole bro science uh, like facet, there's these people thinking that they just know everything and I'm like, you have no idea what you're talking about. Like, scientifically speaking, that is, this is impossible, impossible, but people will eat it up, you know? Uh, Zesty, according to BMI, I'm borderline obese, but I hardly carry any fat. That's not a great skill to use. Yeah, I, I assume you have a lot of muscle tissue, Zesty, is most, most likely why it's constituting you as obese, which you're most likely not. It's probably your mus musculature. Bro science. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, it's funny. I, I love bro science type situations. I, I love it. But I say bro science too. There's women out there that like have no you idea what they're talking about either. That you wouldn't care if your future partner was fat. Dot, but no, I didn't say that. Professional, you know that's not healthy, that. so you really have to have some standard if you care about the person. We talked about that with somebody doing that or like also not having a job and so forth. Overall, I'm not saying that I'm gonna judge you based on your weight, but what I am saying is that I expect you to kind of adhere to being your best self as much as possible. And that means more so like having a drive, right? To have a job. I'm not saying that you have to work in the same field as me. I'm not saying that you have to make more money or be more successful than me. I'm not saying that you have to be as fit as me, but I think you need to work on trying to be the best you. And for somebody to be, let's say like morbidly obese, I'm not saying that there's a problem with that, but also too, that relates more so to an unhealthier lifestyle and unhealthy lifestyle choices. And not that that's bad, you know, like to each their own and there may be a reason why you are that and way. Bianca and Auntie Sara, you ever watch Derek more plates, more dates? Oh, I know him, yes. He does tons of incredibly interesting videos on endocrinology yes. and such, I think you would He's know. very well spoken. I agree. I have no idea what this guy's degree is in, but he is very, very well spoken. Very well spoken. Uh, and which is surprising too. Very, very surprising. But yeah, like I'm not saying that my main factor is just judging somebody based on their weight or their aesthetic or anything like that. But to me personally, it's like if you don't take your health into account, all you do is like you don't have a job and you just want to sit at home and stuff like that. I, you, I, to me personally, you need to get your act together in a sense that you're striving to better yourself much like I am. Like if we're not on the same path, then we're just not gonna mesh very well. I'm not saying that anybody is less than a person or anything like that, but what I'm saying, like if you want S tier, you should strive to be S tier. And I'm not saying that you have to be a like freaking 5% body fat or something like that. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, you know, for somebody, if that makes them happy and so forth, that's okay. And I'm not saying that that's out of the question. Like if they, if food is their life and that's what they love to do and they love to go and try new recipes and stuff like that or whatever, more power to you. But I'm just saying in general, um, I think that people need to try to be the best version of themselves and to a healthier version. And that's not to say that we don't all have our vices because we do. You know, some people like to smoke, some people like to drink, some people like whatever. And some My people food maybe their vice. Science. Creatine and chromium picolinate infused Cheetos. Nano machines, sun. <laughs> King, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Back in college, I was still considered severely obese at 185 to 190. When I climbed 5.11 plus and it was getting into open level bouldering ranks. This BMI stuff has always been such. Yeah, it was created um, to assist malnutrition um, patients in Africa, I believe, related to AIDS, the AIDS epidemic. So basically it was a scale that was used to help basically get these kids back to a healthy weight. Um, however, that has kind of like dissected and become its own beast in itself, which is just one metric that we may use in medicine, but it is not the all encompassing end all be all God standard because there is no such thing. 
in medicine, which is the same thing too with like relationship things. Everything is a spectrum. There's never like, because you're this, we would never work out. There's a whole plethora of things that round out in medicine for your health. And there's a whole thing overall that rounds out like on a relationship standard and compatibility and so forth. Yeah. No, yeah, it, I, I don't know if it, I believe it was specifically made for um, the AIDS epidemic children malnutrition, I believe is what the BMI scale was from. Don't quote me on it, but I know it was highly used there and is still constantly used there to make sure that there are levels of adequate nutrition. You know? <sighs> BMI. Chaz, what's up, Chaz? No, I didn't dye my hair. It's just, it's the ears that makes it look. I loved listening red. to all this chat. What's the topic for tomorrow so I can do the readings and to Zero TV? <laughs> yeah, read before you come to class, PR. Thank you so much for the fits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I like how you've just been talking. But yes, it's all spectrum. It is all spectrum. Just like I said, you know, I'm not saying that you have to make more money than me or be more successful than me or anything like that, but you have to have a drive to like get up and strive for something. I would not tolerate somebody who just wanted to sit on the couch and do nothing. You know, that wouldn't work out for me. Now, there may be somebody out there to where like, that's all they want. That's all they need, you know? But to each their own. To each their own. Do we have homework on this? Also, will it be on the test? Zesty, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Well, as fun as I have been having today, that's gonna have to be the end of the stream. I have some stuff that I have to do here later, which is why we had the early stream to begin with. But I had so much fun. I am having a ridiculously fun time here uh, playing this stuff. So anyways, the stream will be at the normal time tomorrow at 6 p.m. CST. Fingers crossed, hopefully it can be a little longer because I know most of my streams have just been like an hour. But once again, for those of you guys who haven't been here, and I know I sound like I'm just repeating myself, February is like this closure month for me, um, finishing up the funeral arrangements and stuff like that uh, for my grandfather and for my grandmother. So once February is done, I should be able to theoretically get back to everything, like how the way that it was. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get back to my TikToks and my Instagram and social media just like in general and hopefully some longer streams, but we'll see. But anyways, I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for being here. You guys mean everything to me and I will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. CST.